One, go. Greetings, Kevin Wolfman 5A. My name is Tim Saunders. My team is Zach Wood and we want to say 12 o'clock session for lab. Today we're going to be learning how to properly assemble and use a Buckner filtration system. So, the main components of this filtration system are your filtration flask, your adapter, your Buckner filter, your filter paper, your tube, and your vacuum system. In order to get this set up, what we're first going to do is take our filtration flask and clamp it into a clamp. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that this is tightened uh, as we do not want to have any sort of leaks. There could be toxic chemicals in this um, that we don't want to have spill over when we attach the vacuum hose. So this is a very important part of setting up the system. Second, as always, we're going to make, want to make sure to check for any cracks, any leaks uh, as we go through this process. What you're next going to do is you're going to attach the rubber tube to the arm of the filtration flask, like so. Pretty simple. Make sure that's nice and tight. Again, we're trying to get the most complete vacuum seal as possible. Uh, next step is to set up our Buckner filtration system. Fairly simple. It's two parts, adapter, Buckner filter, and all you do is press them together. That's it. As you can see, it's pretty stable. Again, you're not going to be throwing this around, so it's, it's pretty good for what it does. Uh, let's put that right in the top. Also, please take note, this is a rubber stopper. This is going to help us get a more complete seal because this isn't very tight. This, much tighter. Before we start the filtration process, we're going to need to grab these filtration paper. These are key in order to get your precipitate to form on top of your filter. What we're going to do is you want to use two and before you just put it in, you can. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wet it with your solvent. So instead, uh, like I said, this is some, our solvent here is some activated, our solution is activated carbon with uh, DI water. So we just take some DI water and simply wet it. Doesn't need to be too wet, like soaking, but like just, this? you know, a little bit. So. Put that smaller. in the top. As you can see, you can actually, if you look really closely, you can see the holes down here um, at the bottom of the bucket filter. Next step is to turn on our vacuum. If you actually look at the filter paper, you can kind of see it's going to get sucked down a little bit. You can also hear that hiss. That means that you know the vacuum is on. And one final check, just to make sure you have a really good seal, because I like to put my hand on top. It's going to get sucked down, leave a nice little red mark on your hand. That's how you really know that the filter is working. Now that our vacuum is on, our filtration is set up, our paper is wet, we can finally take our solution and start to pour it. You're going to want to do this process fairly slowly. Uh, if you go too much, it could overflow and then you won't get as much filter, possible contamination. This goes super slow. Again, chemistry is an art of patience. As you can see at the bottom, we have the solute coming through and our solvent staying at the top. Now, if you look here, this place is relatively dry. We have a bunch of the activated carbon that precipitated out. Um, it wasn't 100% dissolved, but as you can see, we still have some left in our beaker. So what we can do is you can just take more of your solution and just sort of squirt it. Again, remember, we're trying to get as much of this to get out of the beaker as possible. It's the out water, so we don't have to worry too much about it. As you can see, um, we've had a pretty good filtration. Now, sometimes I like to put a white paper towel underneath because what you can often see is if the solution is contaminated or not. Um, if it were to be contaminated, uh, simply what you do is you, or I guess in disassembling, is you turn the vacuum off. You're going to wait for the pressure to equalize. Then it's really easy. You can just remove your buckler filter. Nice little pop there. And you'll have obviously your two systems. Again, if this was contaminated, you could just dump it out into the beaker and run the entire process again. Uh, obviously, making sure you be safe. You are working with glass here, it can always break. And then, if you ever need to, for instance, get out your precipitate, you can take off the filter paper, and there you go. Activated carbon. Thank you.